purely when you warring with me It's people's court, we hold court in the street Well, JC rapped about and sampled the theme song from The People's Court in the year 2000 This is the plaintiff, Andre Clemens About 15 years later, JC was no longer for the people He was for Judy So then I went to Beyonce's house and Jay-Z was watching Judge Judy. I still remember. No. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Stop it. Yes, and I got 99 problems, but Jay-Z watching that bitch ain't one. How old are you? 22. 22. That means when I started to be a star, <laughs> you were still pooping in your pants. Yeah, Bradley Cooper testified to this during a recent sag after a discussion about his career. He noticed Jay's television selection. This is Judge Judy. When he dropped by the Carter Knowles residence to pitch Beyonce his directorial vision for the Star is Born remake. So yeah, originally it was Beyonce and Bradley that were going to be the leads in the remake, being directed by Clint Eastwood. But after four or five years, Clint was kind of like, meh. So rookie Bradley was trying to convince Beyonce that he would do as good a job as Clint. I remember I had this weird cough when I was pitching it to her. Like, it was so crazy. I'm like, and then this, <coughs> and then, uh, and it was crazy. Um, can you keep it down in there, trying to watch Judy? And she was incredible, and so was he. And, and we developed it for like a year together. And she was, I, I mean, she's one of the greatest people of all time. Yeah, B circled the project for years, but the timing never worked out. But Gaga was not the next pop star on Bradley's list. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's Adele. And he's like a fish out, and then he, his career is in the tank, and he moves to England and meets this person that's kind of like a comedy. And then she didn't really text, I think she texted me back once, but it didn't, it didn't, she was busy. Talk about the cold shoulder, Adele. Oof. Well, then Bradley, McGaga, and then the rest is shallow. So let's get back to Judy. If you were a dope that got duped, go sue somebody. You don't tell me. Show me where you graduated from law school. Come here, let me coach you. Hold up. Law school. Give me the name of the law school. Y'all stop me when I stop telling the truth. You're a fibber. I'm a what? Fibber. Okay. Liar. Oh, please, I want lunch. Let that bitch breathe. He's got a hot temper. Hot tidy. She was wild. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for coming out tonight. Goodbye. Goodbye. I got a million ways to get it. It's my show, so I can throw him out. I was going to present a very profound connection between what rappers do and Judy's dress downs and how there's a lot of commonality there. But then I realized, who doesn't like Judge Judy? <laughs> like, I don't need to really just need to justify why Jay Z likes Judge Judy. You want to justify why you don't like Judge Judy. So, yeah. You present that argument. <laughs> 10 million people approve of me. There are a lot of people who watch that don't approve of me. I don't care as long as they watch. Jay-Z has obviously wised up since, but yeah, he should have been rapping about Judy back in the year 2000 and not Judge Wapner. Ugh. Now, I do have a follow-up for Jay-Z because this, this happened, yeah, in the household in like 20, probably 2015. So it's like nine years ago. I'm more curious to know, is Jay-Z watching Judy Justice now? But yeah, Jay likes Judy. Are you shocked? <laughs>